there comes a time in life when you think to yourself, life's too short to deal with assholes. And that time came to me driving back up the M5 motorway on Saturday night this weekend. For three years now, my life has been plagued by three particular assholes. Those people are Gary Tomlinson, Annette Tomlinson, and Rob Tomlinson. Many of you may know about this situation. After everything that's happened, I was driving up in my car on Saturday night thinking, you know what, I've really had enough of having to think about, look at what these people say and do anymore. I decided that after Tomlinson took me to court in the High Court for harassment, took me and the British Masters to court over copyright, over a leaflet, and then dropped both cases. I had a counterclaim against him for the money that he owed me for all of the work that I did. But his equally snakish lawyer, who is just as snakish and as lying and as <coughs> sleazy as his client, is now insisting that this counterclaim stayed in the high court and it's going to cost me a couple of grand to even try and get it moved in fees to the small claim court, the small, same small claim court that the judge that heard all of this that Tomlinson was bringing against me in June said it should be moved to. And now they're coming after me for £7,700 worth of costs. They're very much resistant to me trying to get Annette Tomlinson named on the claim. And they're insisting on keeping it in the high court. I thought, you know what, I'm going to finish this high court claim. It's too complicated. It's too costly. And I'm going to put a simple county court money claim in for the money that's owed to me. And I started that process. And then I thought to myself, why am I bothering? Gary Tomlinson, in my own opinion, is a scumbag, one of the biggest con men you can meet in the pigeon sport. He has the cheek to call me a con man when he's never paid me a penny for all of the work that I did. Gary Tomlinson, even if I managed to get a court decision saying he owed me the money, the man will never pay. From August onwards, he's been saying publicly that Annette Tomlinson, his wife, owns all of his racing stud pigeons. In August, he moved the Who Dares Wins company that's got assets of £81 into his son's name, all in preparation, worried that I would get a judgment saying I owed him the money. And as I was spending this hour and a half on, in the car, I thought, you know what? Why am I bothering? Why am I bothering to try and get back five or ten grand from him? Somebody who's a well-known person of the pigeons said to me last weekend, you know, life's too short to deal with idiots like this. Why bother? And that got me thinking. So I thought, you know what? I'm done with it. Because I've got the court claim against him, I have to keep looking at what the guy says, looking at what the guy does, and all the BS and lies and everything that he comes out with. I still have to do that. And I've said in the past, quite frankly, I prefer I can't wait for the day where I don't have to look at what the man's saying, look at the lies he's saying, look at the BS that he keeps coming out with, or anything. And I thought, okay, I'll go and put a county court claim in. But then I'm going to have another year at least of this. And for what? I'm so busy with productive, great things that I'm doing in and outside of Pigeons. I've got the podcasts that are doing well. I've got some other plans outside of Pigeons that are very busy. Why am I bothering to, to mess around with this man anymore?
Yes, it would be great to say, there you go, I've got a county court order against him showing he owes me money. Well, it's okay having an order, but you've still got to get it collected. And if you know about this stuff, you know that it's as hard to get it collected if they don't want to pay as it is getting the order in the first place. And Gary Tomlinson's as much of a snake of a man already as he's proven in the last few months that he's already trying to claim that he doesn't own anything. And I'm like, my time is better spent. This all started off on the 18th of April, 2020. I had a phone call, a very irate phone call, which is on the Ask Tomo site. And 70 minutes later, my car was set on fire. And two days later, he offered me £3,000 settlement. Now, this is a man that said, I paid you, I don't owe you anything. Well, if I thought I'd paid, I wouldn't be offering any money to people for settling. Why would you offer £3,000? Bear that in mind. He also owed me seven pigeons for my son that were bought in one of his auctions. Going to collect the seven pigeons ended up in his son, Rob Tomlinson, being arrested. And an hour after he offered £3,000, he rejected it. He pulled it because Annette Tomlinson didn't want to give me any money. Annette Tomlinson is the boss of the outfit. She wears the trousers. What she says goes. I'll tell you now, if it wasn't for Annette Tomlinson, nothing, none of this stuff that's been happening over the last two years would have continued to happen. Gary Tomlinson himself would have settled with me for the work, the money he owed me, and that would be it. And they would have saved themselves a lot of hassle and money, and I would have saved myself a lot of hassle. Over the course of the last two years, I won't say my life's been dominated because I've been... It's not dominated, but it's a factor. This man's been a factor in my life. All because he refused to pay me, put the birds in the race as the original deal was, and then pay me when he pulled the birds out of the race. <coughs> but what's been good about this is that it's shown people what he's like. This is a man that used fake bidding names to bid on pigeons himself. This is a man that's reported me to the police twice for the astomo.com site. This is a man that's took the British Masters to court over a leaflet and then got caught lying through his teeth saying that there was no problem with the British Masters after an hour, only an after he paid them, he was paid seven and eight and a half thousand pounds by them. The man's a proven liar. In confidential court papers that he put through the whole high court process, he said that he'd had death threats as a result of this. Well, I've not done any death threats, so it's like I said to his solicitor at the time, he must have a lot more enemies than he thinks he has. He's blamed his health issues on this. He spent probably tens of thousands of pounds taking the British Masters to court over a leaflet and putting injunctions against me. The most open, honest and transparent man in pigeons today has to get injunctions against people to stop them telling the truth about what actually happened. This is Gary Tomlinson. All along spreading vile and horrible rumours to his followers who believe, his followers believe the stuff he says. People accusing me of being a paedophile. People accusing me of being involved in horrible stuff. All spread by Gary Tomlinson in an effort to deflect people's attentions away from the real situation. Me showing what a liar, con man, horrible person and family he is. Gary Tomlinson has always tried to sound like he's the salt of the earth, ex minor, does everything he can for pigeons, when in reality, he's grossed over a million pounds since he started the one off race, and he's only in anything for the money. Which is fine, we're all in it for the money, but at the same time, this man does and says things that are just vile and horrible, and he lies. 
if you want to see evidence of him lying, go and see the, the video that I put out about him saying there was no problem with the British Masters just an hour after he took eight and a half thousand pounds because he thought there was no way anybody would know what actually happened. So he went and lied through his teeth. Gary Tomlinson, a wannabe bully, a con man who doesn't pay people what they're owed, who continuously runs a race to take as much money from people as possible and who lies through his teeth to anybody that will listen. Backed up by Annette Tomlinson, one of the most horrible women I've had the misfortune of meeting. And like I said, she's the boss of the operation. What she says goes. And then Rob Tomlinson. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree with him. Another horrible individual that boasts he knows he can get cars fired for £50 each. What a great, lovely family. I'm lucky. He swore on his son's life that he would never mention me again in public. And if he sticks to that, that'll be a good thing. I'm sure he'll view this as winning. But as I've proven, I never back down to a bully. But at the same time, I've had enough of having to think about this man and his family. A man that presents himself as a hard man, as a man of the world, sorts things out like a man, but actually in reality he's reporting me to the police twice, reported me to the RPRA and try, continued to try and report me to the RPRA just a few months ago. And life's too short to deal with people like this. It was never really about the money. I, there's a reason I never talk him to court for the money. It's just not worth it for the five grand he owed me originally. A man that told me I don't, didn't own any of the rights to this ridiculous DVD that he did. A man that puts out a young bird DVD, how to race and train young birds, and goes and loses 800 pigeons in one training course. If I add up the amount of hours that I'll save in the next year from dropping this counterclaim against him. I can wait, make way more money than he ever owes me. And that's why I've made the decision to drop everything against him. The counterclaim that I only put as a result of him taking me to court for defamation and claiming against this leaflet in the high court in London people by an equally snake of a man called Aaron Wood. There's been some good things that have come out of this. The snakes and the haters that support Gary Tomlinson, they hate me even more because of his rhetoric and BS that he spreads. That's fine. I don't care. But I've met some really good people as a direct result of the hassle and the crap that Gary Tomlinson and his family have given me and my son and my family. And for that, I'm very pleased. Only yesterday did somebody say to me, the man is hated in this area. And I think what I've done by sticking up to the guy for as long as I have, for exposing him for the liar he is and for the real man he is, I think I've done a service to people showing what this man's really like. And as a result, hundreds of more people know what the man and his family are really like. And that's good. That's a good job done. As I said at the beginning, it was never just about the money. It was about showing what the man and his family are like. And if you listen to this and you like him, fine, you go and like him. But you watch at some point when he doesn't need you or you're not worth any money to him or he doesn't need you and you're expendable to him, you watch the, ch the difference and how it changes.
The man's never had an original idea in his life. Liars will always be liars. And people like that tend to have more skeletons in their closet. And I'll guarantee you Gary Tomlinson has got far more skeletons in his closet than he even perhaps he realizes. Next time when you're paying your entry fees, remember you're paying your money to a company that's got assets of 81 pounds, yet has turned over just short of a million pounds since it started. Next time you see his roller banners at a show, remember, I designed them, I bought them physically, and I never got paid. Next time you see the logo on his lofts, remember, not paid for. Astomo.com will stay up. Maybe I'll put it up for sale one day and look to get some of my money back. In the meantime, it's staying up. But like I said at the beginning of this, life's too short. Life's too short to be dealing with snakes and rats and dogs like this, these people. And the Tomlinson family are some of the biggest wannabe bullies, con men, liars that I have ever met in my life. And they've dominated my thoughts for way too far. Three years ago, I was going above and beyond to work for him and help him out. The last two years have been dominated by hassle, stress, Want to be attempted bullying and just hassle nobody needs in their life. So with that in mind, it's time to move on. If Gary Tomlinson or any of his family refrain from talking about me on public social media or in public, then I won't be doing any more. I will not be talking about the man in public again. Rest assured, if they do anything to me and my family, that won't stand. But if they keep themselves and their horrible, vile, vicious rumours, mills and their tongues in their mouths, they're not going to hear any more in public. Privately, I'll tell anybody what I think about them, but in public, I'm done. I'm done with having to look at what crap and lies he says. I'm done with having to monitor his ridiculous videos. Like I said, the man's never had an original idea in his life. Everything he does, he learned from me or others. I'm done. Life's too short. I've got too many more important things, more productive, happy, pleasurable things to do. Like I've just spent the weekend with 16 great inspirational people. They're the kind of people that are my kind of people. Gary Tomlinson, I regret the day he ever called me to ask him to work for me. I regret the day I ever started working for him. But I'm a firm believer that karma's a bitch. And I think karma's already starting to catch up with him. And with the amount of skeletons in his closet that he's got, I'll guarantee you karma will catch up with him. And you know what? That's good enough for me. As Tomo will stay up, as Tomo.com will stay up, because it's educational to let people know what this family are really like, and hundreds of people a month go to it. But that's it. I'm done. I'm out. I look forward when this snake of a solicitor, Aaron Wood, goes away and stops trying to get money out of me for costs that I don't have to deal with him anymore. And I look forward to the day that, in the, hopefully, in the next week or so, when the judge tells him that he's not getting any of his costs. I look forward to the day I can wake up and never have to think about this family ever again. Time to move on. Thank you for listening. Catch you soon.